Samuel Nsubuga, one of our retired pastors, and he was listening on Radio Uganda, and he, by then President Idamin made an announcement. All right? And as he was in his house the following day, he saw a truck, a military truck, coming in her compound, took him, dragged him out of the house, threw him in a police cell. As they were going to begin the beating, the prisoners pleaded with the army men, please do not cane this man. At least cane us. So they took him away from the, from the army military men and instead they were caned on his behalf. Mm -hmm. Because they said we cannot afford to see him being flogged before us. Now, the following day as they were coming for him to take him to the prison, another jeep came from, uh, you know, he was in Soroti. By then, you know, our thing was still big and pastors were flying all over. From Soroti to Kabale, from <laughs> all over. So, it was amazing that the one who had come for him to be taken into prison is the one who said, are you an Adventist pastor? Yes. You sit in my car. He sat in his car and drove him back. Said, you sit here. Now, don't go to church. You worship from your church, from your house. Call all the members and be worshiping from your house. Whenever you are praying, you come for me so that I can pack here my jeep and you pray. After praying, then I can go. Mm -hmm. And this was the commander who was sent to put them in prison. Okay? I have interviewed the pastors. Uh, uh, oh, who is this pastor of mine at the hill? Chiria. And he will tell you uh, how, <laughs> very amazing, how, I think I will need to avail that article so that you can read it. How trucks came under the command of Idamin, loaded with missiles, to come and gun down Adra headquarters up there and the, union, the, the field offices by then. And he will tell you that the village was amazed that when those trucks, do you know where Church of St. Peter, Church of Uganda, as you go that Chileka Hill, there is that Anglican church, as the trucks had begun to go uphill, as they reached at that Church of Uganda, St. Peter's, all the tires of the jeeps, they went off. That was amazing. That was amazing. I said, Musei, please proceed. The story is becoming sweet. He said, no, that was not the end of the story. When he knew, it didn't mean that uh, the trucks have failed to go uphill. Now they brought these machine guns, heavy machine guns, loaded on, on rubber, fully rubber, uh, no, 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 no pressure inside, but fully rubber tires, but running on top of the chains. Okay? So those ones managed to go uphill. And when they reached, you know, when you are going to, to Adra and at the field from Chileka, as you are almost entering the gate of Adra, there is some flat space before you, you, you take your right to go now again. Uh, uphill to the offices. So when they reached there, they saw they were going to enter into Lake Victoria. You know there is some water. There is, when you reach there, there is, you can see Butabika. That's this side, this Rosira section of Butabika. And, uh, you know, they saw they were going to, 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 to fall in, in the lake. So they went back. I mean, he said, you are joking. He said, if tracks have failed, let me take people on foot. So soldiers came on the Sabbath on foot. When they came, we always, uh -huh, thank you, deacons. We always have this table here in the Sabbath school with a white, you know, 
smart piece of cloth. When the military people came with their machine guns, they saw a dead body. They saw a casket. And people were crying. Singing was converted into crying. And then they said, how can we now interfere with people who are mourning? With, uh, <laughs> with, with, their, eh? with their dead body? Why can we interfere with that? So they went back they said, ah, those people are not worshipping. They were mourning for the, I think they lost one of their members. The story got more exciting. I said, wow, this is interesting. He said, okay, if they are dying every Sabbath, <laughs> we shall cane them now, whether they are crying or not. When the soldiers came and caned them, whoever caned even a small whip in the night, they all died. The word is death. Now, on Sunday morning, they gave an order to go for an operation. All soldiers, this was, this was now in the Busoga, all soldiers said, Sebo, we don't want to die. No one is going to cane those people. Mm -hmm. Another one come. Now he said, if, if all those means have failed, let us go in the night. This was now from... Uh, our late SK Sendaula. They surrounded grenades and bombs and now detonated them around his house at the office. Now, our pastor was in the house praying. Midnight, he was praying. Now, the wife heard someone knocking on the door. So he Shook him to say, Daddy, someone is knocking at the door. He said, I've not heard anything. I was praying. Kumbe, the knock, they had detonated the bombs, exploded, and when the fragments hit the, the door, the wife had just someone knocking on the door. So they slept. Nothing happened. For them, they went thinking they have finished the house. In the morning, the house was intact, not even a scratch. The fragments were just someone knocking on the door, not someone to hit down the house. He said, you are joking. So he had his good friend, a Muslim, and he, he, he sold to him that Chileka hill. And as he was crossing from Posta, you know where Posta is? Crossing to that bank opposite that Posta building down there, the man was hit down by the car, and he died with his money in the envelope. That very day, Idi Amin was swimming in his pool. And two men appeared before him. And they asked him, Young boy, what do you want? Why do you disturb? my church. So he ordered for the arrest of these men. But he forgot they didn't ask permission to enter. As he ordered for the arrest, the men disappeared. And that's when he was told, people have surrounded us. That's how he leaves Kampala to fly to the east. Then from Soroti to Arua. From Arua straight to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia or Libya? Libya. He first flew to Libya. First. To his friend Gaddafi. The devil, as I, I made it short, so many, so many amazing stuff is in there. The devil has tried to fight with this church. But he has failed. The Bible has said he did what? He failed. But when he was defeated, he made a decision. He sat his demons in a meeting. Come to verse 17. There is a demon meeting. And that demon meeting, they made a resolution. 
Since we have been defeated by the church, let us go for her offsprings. Do you know the offsprings? Do you know the offsprings? I am the offspring and you are the offspring. So when he is finished, when he is defeated by the church as a body, so he has come to us as the offsprings of this woman to fight with us. Now the guns, oh, my friend Eldoki knows this language. Uh, he has now changed his artillery <laughs> from the church as a corporate body now to its offsprings. I don't know how powerful you are. I don't know how trained you are. I don't know how stronger you are. I don't know how we are going to stand the artillery of the enemy. But listen to the disturbing statement. The devil is defeated by Satan. What he wants now is this church to win. Our lesson is church triumph. All right? Church triumph. He wants, when this church has triumphed, when it has won. Amen? When it has won, because he has been defeated, he has tried all means to put it down. He is defeated. He wants the church to win. He wants the church to, 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 to come to the end of the world victorious, but when it is empty. That's why he has changed all his strategies now to come to the offsprings of the woman. Yes, the church is going to win. Yes, the church is going to finish the race. Yes, the church is going to make it blameless before the Lord. But when it is empty, when no one is inside this church, That one reminds me of a text in Exodus. When the Pharaoh told Moses, go and pray. Go and sacrifice. But do not go very far away. The devil is not worried whether you will choir member. The devil is not intimidated whether you are a chorister. The devil is not scared whether you are a pianist as long as you don't go very far away. The devil is not intimidated whether you are married. Actually, the devil may contribute some money for you to marry. He may even uh, give you a reception for free as long as you don't go very far away. That reminds me that even when young, my young girls are dressing up to come to church, the devil has no problem for you buying a nice dress or suit as long as when you are buying it, it doesn't go very far away. Hmm? It doesn't go very far away. It has to reach somewhere, not go very far away. That reminds me that even if you come to church, do not finish up the entire day at church. You go to church and enjoy the sermon, but do not go very far away. When you reach in the middle, when you are going to have lunch, please, after lunch, uh, the season is ended, and now another business begins. Do not go very far away. The devil is not scared, mama. Those stories we hear about you, you know when we are building this church, we used to drink to take porridge here every Sunday morning. The devil is not scared by the gallons of porridge you took. When you were just scratching this swamp here, casting their stones and so forth. Hmm? He's not worried about that history. He says, go on with that history as long as you do not go very far away. And I know, and I am sure, some of your historicals didn't go very far away. They are somewhere 
and they are going to hell if it will not be God's grace. They never went very far away. It is the strategy of the devil, therefore. Sebo Mukuru Estate. This church will win. There is no power, as Jesus said, unto him the rock. He set it, he built it. And even the powers of Hades. Okay? You know Hades? In the Greek, we translate it as Shiu. To mean an endless pit. Even the powers of the endless pit cannot overcome this church. Yes! This church will overcome. But it will, it will overcome when the, when the pews are empty. And I am so excited to tell you the pews are beginning to be empty. Is that exciting? The devil wants to see all married men and married. All, un, all married women and not married. The devil wants to see these young girls. Are you married? Are you? Uh -uh. You are not married. Uh -huh. You, these Hadijas, these Violas, and all others in that category. The devil wants that you pray, you pray, you pray for husbands, and nothing like a quarter a husband comes your way. All boys, who, the more you pray, the more they look at you. The more they look at you and wonder what you are praying for. They are just here in the church shaving beards, no any other duty. Eh? These beards grow, they shave. These beards grow, they shave. Others, they leave some, some beards here to, 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 to prove to us that uh, they have beards. Eh? So they prove Others go and uh, in the salon and they, 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 they make some other beards stay, stay here. And so they come here and, and intimidate us. Kumbe, they have nothing to do. It is all about uh, shaving beards and, and taking porridge at their mamas. Uh. Let me tell you, it is known a, a, a moment of fun and joke. This prayer and ministry director, the devil is so, he has drawn his line so clearly that he has been defeated by this church. I want to make this clear before I go into the readings. That at the end of the day, all your daughters are no longer in this church. All your sons are no longer in this church. And finally, you yourselves. Time is coming. When I am here alone, that is if I would have also stayed. By the grace of God. Because let me tell you, the more I preach like this, the more Satan sits his demons in a special meeting to deal with me. In any way, in any form. And I am aware. He can come through me. He can come through my wife. He can come through my, my children. He can even come through you who are looking at me. That is if I have stayed. I will be here. Preaching to empty spaces. That one is not far. We have churches in the West under sale. You go on, on the web. Churches under sale. When two years have elapsed, no member is coming. And the conference fails to pay for that ground tax. And they just sell it off to to cinema, cinema halls and the casinos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you go you will see the good thing you have smartphones go and type in houses and churches for sale in, in Europe you will see them in Germany you will see them in France churches on sale even here in Uganda we have begun to have churches that we can hire even i saw one church on sale in Kayunga that Kayunga Galilaya road there was a church on sale when people are no longer come to worship. There is another one in Bugema. I think I mentioned of it. Here in Bugema, there's that small Anglican church. As you go down to, 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 the, to, 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 to our secondary, there's that small church on the right. As you go down, that Anglican church. Now it is out for, for rent. The Catholics come, they pay, they worship in the morning. Then uh, the, uh, the, the, the Pentecostals, they, 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 they come and worship in the afternoon. So the owners, they come very early at, at 6.30 before the customers come. <laughs> okay. That is not far. It is here. Soon or later, you are seated here and those ones watching will stop coming here having been overpowered. By the artillery of the devil. It is my prayer that we overcome with the church. As the church wins, it wins with us. As the church gets its victory, we also receive the same victory. Come with me in the book of Amos. Come with me in the book of Amos. Okay. Amos chapter 9, verse 9. What does the Bible say? Amos chapter 9, verse 9. I want to end. You know you took a lot of my time. I don't want to take your time also. Can I read it? Yes. Amos 9, 9. I have a key. New mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 9 verse 9 says, For lo, I will command, mm -hmm. and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. He commanded to sift the house of Israel. Yes. Like as a corn is sifted in a sieve. Like as corn is sifted in a in or on? In. In the sieve. sieve. Mm -hmm. Yet shall not the least rain fall mm -hmm. upon the earth. Yet nothing shall fall upon the what? Upon the earth. Come with me to understand that God has given this instruction. I am afraid to tell you this afternoon what I am going to tell you. It is God's instruction, Mama. For the church to be sifted. You know sifting? Who are coming from, uh, from the west? West part of Uganda. Mm -mm. Is that west? Baraka. I didn't say from the hills. I said from the west. Yeah. You are from both. Ah, I am afraid. Your blood is contaminated. Like this one of Baraka. I need people who are healthy like me from the West. With no contamination. Eh? Baraka. You are not contaminated. Okay. People from the hills, they plant their millet. Alright? And sow gum. And when time of harvesting comes, they, they, they have their traditional way of sifting. The dusty, the stones, the what are from millet. So they have their bigger thing, which they call, I don't know, orugari. Uh huh. Yeah, you, you, you know these things. How do you call it? Oruwari. That is contamination. Eh? Orugari, oruwari. So <laughs> the same thing. You see how contamination has led us? Uh huh. So oruwari, orugari, people from Soroti. People from, uh, 
from uh, huh? Uh, huh? from west. These people here. You know those things of, uh, you know? Even here you have. Here. In Buganda. Buganda, what do you clean? <laughs> you don't have food. You are poor. You are miserable. But <laughs> what do you have? What do you have? But Matoke, we don't is we didn't shift Matoke. Eh? 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 They shift Mukene. Aha. <laughs> you are in here as a self deal. You shift Mukene. All right. All right. Now, that Rugali or, or basket, call it a tray, call it anything, they, they put millet on it and throw it in space. They throw it in air so that wind can blow through it and the dust goes down. But the grain, the grain, that millet grain, that sorghum grain, or beans, okay, the Baganda have some little beans. Uh, some little beans. That little beans you have here comes back to the basket and the husks, okay? And the husks are blown away by the what? By the wind. So God is saying in, in Amos that I have given an instruction that there should be sieving in my church. So we are in a sieving time. We are in a sieving process. We are being thrown up and coming down, thrown up and coming down, thrown up and coming down. And let me tell you, if the grains were human beings, I have a book called If Animals Could Talk. Very interesting book, If Animals Could Talk. And those biologists there try to narrate and examine how animals talk, if they could talk. If grains could talk, and they tell you the suffering they go through, when they are thrown up and down. Up and down. You see, for, they are lucky, by then they are dry, and they have no pain. They are lucky. To, to us human beings, the seething process of us being up and down, restless. It is not an easy experience we are going through. Our marriages are restless. They are up and down. Up and down. You talk to a man who is understanding. Do you remember your wife? Yes. Why don't you go back? I will not go there. What is the problem? Pastor. I am tired. What are you tired of? I don't know, but I am tired. You ask the woman, do you still love your husband? Yes, pastor. I still love him. So why don't you talk to him nicely? I try, but the man became a monster. Okay? Become a monster. Okay? We are restless. Some of us cannot sleep unless we have taken some Tasca, some, uh, some Pilsner, some, uh, uh, some uh, which else do you take? Some Shisha. Huh? Which else do you take in this side? Guinness. Uh -huh. And let me tell you Let me tell you, proper Seventh-day Adventist members go, one of these days I will ask supermarkets to give me some footage. <laughs> I, I tell you, <laughs> okay, let me speak it, what should I do? Some of us, let me say some of us, and I also count myself so that I can land you safely. Some of us, on the shopping list we go for in the supermarkets, we, have, we buy tinned and bottled. Do, do they bottle alcohol? Or do they tin and 
they bottle ah, whichever they do whichever they do and it is part our refrigerators at home if i give it a surprise visit they may have some tasker which take it and some of you have gone ahead to buy small fridges and put them in the bedroom because you know your children will see in the main refrigeration so you buy small refrigerators and then in that bedroom of yours you have the small fridge where you put your your alcohol i think first elder i need to plan to begin visiting your bedrooms pastor visit huh? abrupt bedroom pastor visit with the intentions to see the fridge i am not talking in the air i am talking to if we were human if the grain on rugali was a human being being saved is something terrible and painful you don't know what it means mr elder for you to see your children let me tell you i have a family where i come from I told you this story. That's why I'm going to be brief. Don't take time. I told you I am a first born, but I am the fifth born. In between then when I became to be ah there was a saving. Okay? There was a saving. Do you know saving? Now you chiriwa what do you know saving? Okusengeja. Okukunguta. There was a saving. There is no word that was not spoken against my mother. For five years in marriage with no child, all the four brothers of mine, they decided to die. Hmm? When they are young, like they were like four months, three months, five months, the stubborn one who had refused to die also died when he was six months. If it was this today's technology they would uh, take care of that thing and it becomes a human being but in those days of course in the village phew, dead now when i entered the womb me i was stubborn i refused to die so i came on earth that's why they called me the name they called me if it was not patience all right they were saved enough But those were just few years, five years. I'm talking about people who have been saved for 10 years. Saved for 20 years. In the saving, when you are looking for boys, you go for other women. I know of a church member. I don't say church elder because someone will remind me to be gentle. But you have understood what I've just said. Who was giving birth to boys? So he went out. He met this beautiful woman so that he can give birth to girls when he went out the devil is so good and so wonderful that's why i like him on that point so brilliant he knows how to calculate his steps indeed the woman conceived and gave birth to a baby girl all right is it a success The man told the wife I have a baby girl. Where? I have told you I have a baby girl. So I want her to come here so that she can familiarize herself with uh, with your children so that uh, they can grow up together but the other side uh, with her mom. So uh, because I need to be a good father I need to have some days off to go and do my patano my father duties and responsibilities i will not do much with that lady because 
she did what she had to do and we have a child. So I'll, know, I'll be sleeping in the other room, but during the day I do my duties as a father. So I went in that camp meeting. I found such nonsense story. So I called the man and the woman. I asked the man, do you want to stop going there? The man said, yes, pastor. I want to stop to go to that woman, but I don't have energy. I don't have energy. So, do you want me to pray for you to have energy? He said, yes, pray. So I prayed. Mm -hmm. Me, I left. The man went back. Because he had no energy. So the man went back. When he entered the sitting room, he later he called me and said, when, he, when I entered the pastor, I had a smell of dead bodies. So I ran back in my car and came back home. When I went back the second time, you know when you don't have energy, you go back. So, <laughs> so he went back <laughs> the second time. So as he started the engine, the battery had no currency. I mean a battery in Pruro, Madame Nariari. With more voltage than 12. So when he started the engine, the battery was off. So he went on the battery, he knocked the, 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 the how do you call it? The, the terminals. He terminals, he put some water, he put... He knocked, he knocked, he knocked, he knocked, he nothing. The car refused to start. When he came back home, as he was trying to put, not even putting right the, the key in the switch, as he was trying to bring the key in the switch, the battery had currency. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I am simply saying, I am simply saying, eh? I am simply saying, God is saving his church. And in saving his church, we are going to see church members up and where? And down. But as they go up, I pray, the wind doesn't blow you. Because the text has told us, None of you shall fall. Nothing like a kennel shall fall on the ground. It is the prayer of God. As the saving is done, not one of us to fall on the ground. But I am afraid to tell you, many of us will be taken by the wind. And we shall fall away. Some people come and tell me, Pastor, now so and so has apostatized. Now so and so is no longer a churchgoer. He is speaking another language. He is saying, Pastor, the church has become Babylon. The church was sold. Simani, the general conference changed the logo. Have you, have you had such nonsense? Hmm? The church changed the logo. So they went to the Pope. They made a deal to change the logo and they put a logo which looks like a pyramid and the pyramid is by the is 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 by by by, by the Freemasons and the 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 the, 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 the devil worshippers and so forth tri triple six you, you know we have so many church members who know much about Satan and know less about Jesus Christ for Satan who they know when Trump signed and he went. They know how, how, how Putin's war and Ukraine war has something to do with the Sabbath. They know how Biden has signed with who? I don't know. Who, who gives you those visas to go and witness those agreements? But no problem. Let me tell you. The church. Hello. Let me use this. Seven minutes. The church has never changed its logo. Now get that from me. Seven Mukade. This church, the Seventh Adventist Church, has never changed its logo. Some of you think the logo of the church 
was the cross and the three angels. Now that, 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 that logo has never been a logo of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. That was a logo of the youth ministry. Have you understood? The upper Nile field by then adopted that logo and we used it in Uganda here. It was a Ugandan logo, not a worldwide logo of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. When you go in Tanzania, the Adventist logo in Tanzania was a palm tree. I mean a palm tree. It's answer. Maybe some of these things disturb us because of lack of information. It was in 1996 when it was moved and functioned in 1997, just of recent, for the church to have a worldwide logo. Everyone was using his or every entity was having their logo. The general conference was using a globe. You know globe? You know globe? Mm, that was the logo. Our division was still in Harare. Those of you have lived longer. You remember those days? As it was still in Harare, Zimbabwe. Before coming to Nairobi, our logo was East African map together with the uh, South, uh, South uh, the, 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 the Zimbabwe, the, 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 the Malawi, the, the Zambia states. That was our logo. Until when the church sat down to say, but we are a one worldwide church. Why does every, why do we have different logos, 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 every entity logo, every entity logo. Can't we have a one logo because we are a one church in the whole world? That is how our logo comes to be. So we have never changed. Actually, we have a logo. We have never changed. But people move around realizing our friends you know, the church was sold. It changed the logo. Come with me. That is a saving. And the saving of the logo has swept some people. Are we together? Especially the youth who feed from, uh, from the junk of social media. We have a blessing of the spirit of prophecy. And this blessing is of good health. Eating healthier foods. Amen? Mm. And we do teach. Eating healthier food like a today. Which, which city cooked? Canaan. As usual. Canaan cooks beans. Uh, health, healthier food. Eh? Uh, good. good huh? Beans and, uh, and G-nuts today. It was interesting. I enjoyed the meal. It was healthier. Now, some people have gone to a level of becoming spiritual diet terrorists. They don't take milk. They don't take meat. No chicken. No sugar. No cooking oil. No fats. No, no eggs. No fish. No, nothing. Nothing. Let me tell you. We have a book called The Ministry of Healing. This book was, pre was written by Sister White. Are we together? I'm not going to the details, details. Those who need to know more, come to me. This book. This book. Oh. This book on page 28. In this smaller version, Sister White says, we should be very careful in our diet. And we must resort to fruits and vegetarian diet and seeds. But countries in poor states, poor countries who cannot afford day-to-day -day vegetarian diet, may not shun away from meat, milk, and eggs, for their bodies need them. Uh-uh, don't say amen. <laughs> you are saying amen because poverty. Okay? 
Now you find someone he is shrinking the wife is shrinking the man is shrinking children are shrinking ash ash evu ash is coming from their skin they try to smear some vaseline but ash i mean ash evu is coming from their face because they are they, 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 they are they are having a healthy diet let me tell you you here all of you here all of you here you cannot manage a vegetarian diet all of you here you are all poor like me one time i hosted some canadians who were vegetarians i cried in my mother language the nuts they not, the nuts they had to eat each kilogram of those nuts was 70000 in shop right here and we are eating 1 kilogram every day so every day was 70000 now poor joshua can you afford 1 kilogram per day 70000 vitamin b12 which we need has to come from 12.8 kilograms of dodo. You know dodo. So every day you need to eat, just to get one ounce of vitamin B12, you need to eat 12 point kilograms of dodo. Which dodo do you eat here? Just a fragment. As someone is putting greens, the greens we eat here is like a whole communion bread. These deacons are too mean. I don't like these deacons. Let me tell you, that is a saving. That is a saving. Let me read for you and we pray. I'm sorry to delay you. Now I can't go without reading this. I need to, to read this. The book of Testimonies to Ministers and Gospel Workers, page 46, paragraph 1. Sister White says, we wrote this book with my father. It is a very interesting book. Sister White says, the church of Christ on earth will be imperfect. But God does not destroy his church because of its imperfection. There are some of the members who have become holier than all of us. And because they are holier, they don't take meat, they don't take milk, they don't take anything, they their blood has no meat in it, so they are pure. And during the transformation, when we shall be going to heaven, they will be lighter, not heavy. So they will easily trans be transformed. Their Jesus is such powerless that he cannot transform Elder Martin. Eh? Elder Martin, their Jesus is so powerless that Elder Martin is so heavy. Uh, the, the, the Jesus is powerless that he, he will transform uh, she, Natasha. Hmm? He will change you. You also know that. That's very good. Let me tell you, our Jesus is powerful and strong. That even when he himself was going to heaven, he went with the meat in his stomach. You don't know when he found the fisherman drying fish. When he was going to heaven. And he told them I am hungry. He ate all the fish. Minus throwing out the bones. Yes. Jesus. I am saying Jesus. Mm -hmm. eh? And when he was satisfied with the fish. As he was still with them. The cloud came. And took him without him first going to the toilet. He went with the fish. 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 With their bones. What a poor Let's say Jesus, who can transform us. I am not saying and insinuating. I know the dangers in meat today. So much of it. And if there is any way we can reduce it, we should do so. But we cannot just go all of a sudden. And we've, I have seen a pastor who refused to greet me because he saw me eating meat. He said, you were a sinner. You, you, you are full of sins. How can cows be certain? Eh? I eat chicken and chicken was a demon. And so it goes through me 
and shaking hands. So they have come out, they have come out of the church and they cannot speak to me, they cannot talk to anyone, they are so holy. When we go out of the, from the divine service, they go under the tree and sit alone. They don't eat meat, they are holier than us. Let me tell you, the more you think you are holier, the more sinner and deceitful, hypocritical you are. Even those girls of Kabbalah Gala are better than you. I mean Kabbalah Gala. This is the last, and we go. Manuscript is 40, 19. Ellen White says, We are Seventh day Adventists. Amen? This is a fitting name. For we keep the seventh day Sabbath and look for the second advent of our Lord in the clouds of heaven with the We are seventh day Adventists, and this is a befitting name for us. There is no any other. This church is not Babylon. You come with me. Maybe I'll need to, to do my some other presentation because our time has gone over this. Testimonies to the church. I mean to ministers and gospel workers. Page 400. The Bible says, Never have a message to draw anyone from the church calling it Babylon. For those such people, were, they went before they were sent. They reign like Akimas. They, they reign with a message when God has not done what? Has not sent them. Finally. Why are we Seventh-day Adventists? Because we keep God's commandments. And we are waiting for Jesus' return. Let me tell you, being an Adventist is not a simple thing. I also know it. And for you, a little bit at liberty as members. But for you being an Adventist pastor, again, it transforms from worse to worse. worse. Becomes something else. Being an advent is not easy. But we are not in this church because we want. We are not in this church because it is good. This church is bad. It is nagging. This is the most nagging church. You have dressed your work address as you are moving around. Eudachi Vumbi is here. E manawange. You didn't know that you, today is a Sabbath thing. You know, Pastor, you know, by the way, when I was buying it, it was tall. It was tall. It was tall. But uh, I don't know when I put it on this morning to come. Again, it was short. So I don't know how it changed in the night. But by the time I bought it, it was tall. Then as you have won Chivumbi, you go to this other corner, you find the uh, Elder uh, Stephen Bazanye. You know, it was tall, but now it is short. It was tall, but now it is short. Then as you have won the elder Bazanya, you come, you find the piaka, my mana wangi. What is this you have done? Hey, you know, he's the director. It was tall, but now it is short. It was tall, but now it is short. Then as you are done with him, you go the other side, you find the Mrs. Nadiali Eiranga As you are done, then in Charam Sumba comes. Ah. What was that? My friend, what was that? No, you see, for us Adventists, we don't dress like that. We don't put on that. You don't put on this one. No. You don't put on this one. No. You don't put on this one. No. When you came to worship, you go back when you have no peace of mind. This is the most nagging church. Most nagging. 
a church which, which even interfere in things which don't concern them. How? Now, how is the church concerned about where I sleep? Do I sleep with the church? But this church will still be concerned and it will look at you. He says, Nariad, it is as if these days you look like someone who doesn't sleep in her own house. This church can even do preventive arrest. Ah, my friend, you look like as if you will may commit adultery. First come and we sanction you for, for some, and we censor you for some three months because the way you are looking, you may soon commit adultery. I am telling you, when the pastor comes here at the pulpit, his sermon is, is always, don't commit adultery, don't commit adultery. Do, 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 please be good to God, be good to God. It is all nagging. Let me tell you, even us pastors, we are not in this church because we want. Mm -mm. We know where we would be by now. Mm. We know where we would be. One day I was walking there, finally, and I found those people. There is like a shop, a small shop there. Oh, wow, wow, there, 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 in the corner. The men were talking to say, but that pastor there must be an Illuminati. <laughs> huh? So he said. If he's not an Illuminati, he's a mafia. Oh. Huh? So I slowed a little bit. So they said, how can a pastor of that big church with all those vehicles that park are there every Sabbath, be drive. His car is there, there. That one you see there in that in that thing is there. Either is a mafia, or is hiding and camouflaging and and he is a he must be a mafia. So they saw me. Ah, he's there. You keep quiet. You keep quiet. So I I passed, but I had got him the doors. You see, even us we are not here because we want. Mm -mm. I would have had my big church. Yeah, when uh, uh, yeah, and the people would come. People would come. All over again, the Italy country. People would still come. I would be also with my with the car of two names. You know, one person told me, Pastor. Make money and drive a car with two names. Range Rover. Land Cruiser. Don't, don't drive a car with one name. It's Pasio. You, you, you drive a car with two names. Hey, Range Rover. Land Rover. Ah, ah, no, 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 Elder. But we are in this church because it is God's church. It is the church that is taking us to heaven. There is no any other. God has prayed for us that in as much as there is a sifting and we are up and down, no one of us shall fall down. It is the prayer of Jesus Christ. And it is my prayer tonight. None of us should fall down in Jesus' name. Just stand up and we just pray. I know I have taken a lot of time than planned. <sighs> Our dear loving Father in heaven, we are your children. As the church is triumphing, as it is fighting, may we win the race with your church. May it not be presented before you empty with us. But it is my prayer as we raise up and down, as wind blows in our marriages, as wind blows in our spiritual life, as wind blows in our financial uh, businesses and working stations, I pray none of us should fall down. 
May we remain in your church. Many seething shall come. Many beatings shall come. Many testing times shall come. I am praying for your daughters, for your young girls who are seeking marriage and they have not yet found. I pray, Lord, comfort their hearts so that they don't fall down. I pray for you, young men, who are swayed away by the beauties of the Philistines. I pray, Lord, comfort their hearts not to be swept away and carried away by the wind. It is my prayer that when the roll is called up yonder, my name is written in there. It is my prayer when the saints shall be marching on the golden streets of heaven. May we be among the number. In Jesus' name I have prayed. May the good Lord be with you. We meet next Sabbath at 9.30 in the morning.